let's look at what the Torco uh, looks like. This is the top panel of the Torco. On the top left, you have the TXL stop uh, terminals or binding posts. So <clears throat> whenever you're using an external load unit in parallel with the Torco uh, for drawing more current out of the battery bank, uh, you would run a pair of cables from these terminals to uh, the extra load unit. And whenever uh, the discharge test ends because of you manually stopping it or the limits being exceeded, uh, a control signal will be sent out from these terminals uh, to the extra load unit and the breaker on the extra load unit will trip. There's a service port provided here, which is meant for factory use, so you won't be connecting anything over there. This is the emergency stop, so in case of emergency, you will just hit that and uh, everything will be stopped. Uh, to reset it, you need to turn it clockwise. There's a provision to connect an external alarm device. <clears throat> the alarm device will sound alarms in, uh, in some situations, like for example, when a warning limit is exceeded or when the battery voltage is too high. There are a couple of binding posts provided uh, to provide a DC output to uh, the DC clamp on that you may use if you want to measure current externally. If you are using the DC clamp on, the feedback voltage signal from the clamp on would come back on these binding posts. The feedback voltage signal needs to be less than one volt. The Torkel unit has a seven inch touchscreen display. There are a couple of USB ports provided for VVM connections. There is a third USB port provided uh, to insert a USB stick for data transfer to and from the instrument uh, or if you want to use a USB mouse. There is an Ethernet pro provided here again, it's marked service. There is a buzzer which sounds out alarms again when, when let's say warning limits are exceeded for example. This is the on off switch and uh, we have a control knob which you can use to toggle between different screens and options uh, by turning the knob uh, or if you want to select something on the screen you can just press the knob this is what the side panel of the torque looks like on here you have a, an external ground terminal provided for added safety. This is where the AC power cord goes. And this is where you connect the uh, positive and negative current cables. And finally, you have the binding posts for connection of voltage sense leads if you use them. The Torkel comes with a standard cable set there are two types of standard cable sets, uh, one set for the Torkel 930-950, the other set for the Torkel 910. You can notice some differences between the two cable sets. Uh, the cable set that's used with the Torkel 930-950 has thicker cables and spade lugs as terminations. On, as far as the Torkel 910 standard cable set goes, the cables are thinner and they have clamps as terminations. Uh, the reason for this difference is the current capability uh, for the models. The Torkel 930-950 can be used at up to 200 amps. The Torkel 910, on the other hand, can be used at up to 100 amps. Uh, when you're testing at high currents, uh, those clamps uh, are not a suitable option um, because if the connection isn't solid enough, then that can result in heating. Uh, so that's the reason why the cable set for the Torkel 93950 has a spade lug so that you can you can make a solid connection on the battery posts uh, and avoid any heating issues. The transit cases are of two types. Uh, there's a standard version, there's a large version. Uh, the large version has additional space for cables. 
uh, whereas if you get the standard version uh, then uh, the, the cables will come in a separate duffel bag. The optional accessories for the Torkoal include extra load units or TXL units. These units are available in different models. Um, <clears throat> these extra load units are connected in parallel with the Torco to expand the current capability of the equipment. So if you want to run the discharge test on a battery bank at a current which the Torco is incapable of drawing by itself, you would connect one or multiple extra load units in parallel with it and thus be able to draw the desired current. Based on the voltage rating of the battery bank and the current that you want to run the test at, you would make an informed choice on whether uh, on, on which TXL unit to buy or rent. There are extension cables available as optional accessories. They are again of two types. One type works with the 910 standard cable set. The other one works with the 930, 950 standard cable set. Uh, and again, these twist lock uh, connectors that are there on the cables are uh, common. So they can, these cables can be used interchangeably. Uh, you have to note, however, that there is a difference in the cross section of the cables. So you have to make sure that the cables are good for the current at which you are running the test at. Other accessories include BVMs, uh, battery voltage monitors, which are used to monitor individual cell voltages, voltage sensing leads, which are used for more accurate uh, battery voltage measurement by, by taking the measurement at the battery posts, and then also the clamp-on probe, uh, which can be used for external current measurement uh, in certain situations like, uh, for example, when you use extra load units in parallel with the Torco, uh, the clamp-on probe measures the total current in the circuit and provides a feedback to the Torco, and the Torco then, on the basis of that feedback signal, regulates the current and maintains it at the desired level. Thank you for watching this technical support video by Megger.